Hey, Mail 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 53. And here we were told we're at a family reunion and we've got three sets of folks, right? We've got children, we've got parents, and we've got grandparents. We knew there were 400 people in total. There were twice as many parents as grandparents. That makes sense, right? And there were 50 more children than parents. That is a lot of kids. So how many of each did we have? So I just opted to let X, Y, and Z respectively represent the number of children, parents, and grandparents. And they told us, right, that the total was 400. So that's where that first equation is coming from. So I've used that piece of information. And it says there were twice as many parents as grandparents. So that means for however many grandparents we had, if we double that number, we get up to parents. So if I have Z grandparents and I double it, I get up to parents. So that's where my second equation is coming from. All right. And then the last one, it says there's 50 more children than parents. Well, that means however many parents I have, if I add 50 to it, I'm going to have the number of kids. So that's where you see this third equation, x equaling y plus 50. And at this point, there's a, there's a lot of ways to solve this. All right. I, I'm going to opt for substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression for y and I'm going to sub it in right here. So instead of x plus y plus z equaling 400, I'm looking at x plus 2z plus z equaling 400. And if I simplify that, I get x plus 3z is equal to 400. And that's where you see this first equation here. And then I also said, hey, let me take the y and put it into this equation. And so that's where you see this equation here. All right, and this is good because I've now got a two by two, right? So if we just take a look, that is a two by two system. There are two variables and two unknowns, and it's nice, I can substitute again, right? I'm just gonna now put two z plus 50 in for x there. So you see I have x plus three z equaling 400, but since I substituted this expression in for x, I can solve directly for z, right? I've got now, now, if I wanna, oops, I don't know what happened there. This is technically a one by one system. And that allows me to get to z equaling 70. And then it's a matter of back subbing, right? I take the number of grandparents, I double it. There's the number of parents. All right. And then we said, hey, whatever the number of parents is, and it's 140 in this case, add 50 to it, right? And that's the number of children. So I've got my three numbers respectively, and I put some context to it. So there were 70 grandparents, 140 parents, and 190 children. All right. Okay, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.